Hi everybody, Lori here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun, colorful, clean and simple project to share with you featuring the pointed star plate by Simon Says Stamp. And this is a full card plate measuring four and a quarter by five and a half. So if it's an A2 standard size card, first thing I'm gonna do is die cut it into a panel of white cardstock. I'm using hammer mill, which is a little like, you know, it's 80 pounds, so it's great for die cutting. If you are gonna use thicker cardstock, I would definitely recommend a metal shim because this is very intricate. And I love the place and pierce embellishment wand for popping out all the little innards. Okay, so I had an idea to try to use this pointed star plate in a more colorful way. Uh, so I wanted to like inlay all the pieces in rainbow order. So that's what I'm doing here. And um, I did a little organization over the holidays and I cleared out one whole entire drawer that I used to store inks in. And now it's just used for scraps of solid color cardstock. So I have all my scraps handy and I'm cutting little slivers. And this is a great way to use up all those scraps. Um, this is gonna be a mixture of Simon's Stamp solid color cardstock and a little bit of Concord 9th solid color cardstock. I have a fog card base, which is a very light gray. First thing I'm gonna do is glue this pointed star plate die cut onto that fog card base. So I'm using some Barely Arts glue, liquid glue. You could also use spray adhesive, um, also those um, micro dot adhesive sheets to cover the back of this die cut with adhesive. I just use liquid glue. And now that I have it glued down, you can see that nice neutral on neutral contrast with the white die cut on the gray card base. And I'm going to start popping in all the innards with pieces, little die cut pieces of solid color cardstock in rainbow order to bring the joy. You know, that's really where it's at. Now, is this tedious? Some might say it is. Is it time consuming? Some might say, but did I enjoy it? You bet your bottom dollar. And I got to tell you, um, I don't even know if it's been a month yet, maybe just a few weeks. I got that Anna Griffin Impress Empress die cutting machine and I love it. I love it. And then at first I was die cutting into the plate and everybody said die cut into the magnet, Laura. So I've been die cutting into the magnet living on the edge. And I got to say, I love it. I still have my spell binders handy. You know, in case I'm doing some foiling, um, in case I'm using my embossing folders, because I don't quite know how to use that with the Anna Griffin yet. But here I am popping in all these pieces. Yes, each one has to be glued individually. There's a lot of different looks you can achieve with the po pointed star plate. And that's what I wanted to show here. Another version. You could definitely lay this over pattern paper. You could lay the die cut over some ink blending. Uh, but here is a fun inlay technique that gives you a lot of color and really just a few scraps. And um, I, again, I use both of the embellishment wands by Simon's Stamp on almost every card. The place and pierce for popping out. And then the place and score here is what I'm using for popping in. You need one for popping out and one for popping in. You know what I mean? Okay, so, but definitely it's all about the tools. It really is. So here I, I started with light pink. I'm working my way through the dark red into the lighter red. And now we're just going to, you know, work it down. Some areas might have more of one color than the other. There's, you know what, you can't go wrong. In the end, it all looks fabuloso. And this is my first video of 2024 for the Simon Says Stamp blog. So happy new year. Did everyone have a good holiday? Are you coming into the new year fresh, fresh as a daisy? You got your workout plan? You got your healthy eating plan? You drinking your water, getting to sleep? Probably not. But hey, it's a fresh new year with fresh, new, exciting, crafty ideas. I'm starting it off with a rainbow so you know it's gonna be happy. Today we're actually driving to the airport to take Charlie, my second oldest son, back to, uh, he's going back to Germany to finish off his hockey season. So both of my boys are over in Germany playing hockey, and my two oldest daughters are in Michigan doing an internship there. So it's just me, my husband, and our youngest, Emma, who's now in eighth grade, um, and she's starting volleyball season. So we got that to keep us, of course, hockey. She's still in hockey. So she's juggling hockey and volleyball 
and doing all the fun eighth grade things. So I'm looking forward to the new year. I've got about this time last year, I bought myself a walking pad, which is just like a low profile treadmill. It doesn't go very high and I just walk on it. I've got my iPad, my iPad I set up and um, you know, it'd probably be better if I walked outside, but get when it gets real cold here in Illinois, I don't like it. And plus a lot of times I get a burst of energy at night. And so I'll walk on that and watch a show and you know, try to drink a cup of water. And I, I'm just trying, you know, baby steps. Okay, so while I was blabbing away, you can see I'm, I'm adding color all the way down. And, you know, for some, this might not be your cup of tea. It's kind of tedious. But for me, I really enjoy this kind of stuff. It's like putting together putting together a puzzle and every little piece has a place and it feels nice and neat and orderly like you got your life together and look at how it looks after the cheery color I love that fog card base that slight bit of contrast with the white die cut now for a sentiment I pulled out the Kathy Zilski hi there greetings it's not a new one but definitely a classic and I'm just going to use that block hello. I love that reverse. So it gives you a white hello sentiment with a black square around it. I find the reverse sentiments look so good on a really colorful card. So I just stamped that with Versifying Otics Black Ink. Let it dry a little bit. And I'm using my mini Tim Holtz Tonic Guillotine Trimmer. One of my favorite trimmers for trimming out sentiments. And you can really get a nice even cut. You can see where you're cutting. It's a clean cut every time. Now to glue this on, just using a couple of 3D foam squares. Never thought I'd be into foam squares. I've always been a big foam tape mama type of gal. But ever since I started kind of using these 3D foam squares, I'm kind of addicted. Okay, now here is the, what is this thing called? The Positively Everything 6 inch T-square ruler. I love to use that to get my sentiment um, centered and straight. And then just a few little clear confetti sequins in three different sizes, kind of scattering them around the sentiment just to give it a little finished off bling. And there you have it. It's nice and flat. It's not too bulky to mail. And it's got that pop of color. And all you did was use a bunch of scraps and a lot of heart. And I hope you enjoyed this video featuring the pointed star plate. All the supplies that I use will be listed in the description box if you're watching on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this video. Wishing you a very colorful and crafty new year. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Hi there. I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at SimonSaysStamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.